Welcome to Dr. Frank's Math Minute. I'm reporting to you from the Alexander Dawson School in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's topic is maps and how to figure out the scale of a map. I have here a map of one of the most famous stretches of road in the, in the country, and that is the Las Vegas Strip. What we're going to do to figure out the scale of a map is we're going to measure the length of the Las Vegas Strip on the map and then drive the exact corresponding distance in real life. So we're going to uh, measure over here. I took this brightly colored piece of string over here. We're going to measure from the iconic uh, Welcome to Las Vegas sign, which is at the south end of the strip, and we're going to stretch this um, string along the Las Vegas Boulevard and all the way up to the uh, stratosphere, all the way up to the stratosphere. So I don't know if it's that clear, if you can kind of see it here, the brightly colored piece of string here represents that distance. And I'm going to take this piece of string and stretch it along this ruler here. I'm going to stretch it along this ruler and I can see over here that I can stretch it and it turns out, it wasn't planned this way, it turns out to be uh, exactly 10 and a half inches. So as I stretch the string along this ruler, it stretches out to uh, uh, exactly 10 and a half inches. So we're going to drive that same corresponding distance uh, along the strip. So let's get going before rush hour. Right now it's about 4 p.m. So if we can get out there uh, soon enough, maybe we won't be sitting too much in traffic. We're going to leave the Alexander Dawson School and we're going to drive here to this particular point here, uh, which represents where that iconic Welcome to Las Vegas sign is, right along in the southern tip of the Las Vegas Strip. So that's represented by this uh, line here, the slightly curved uh, road here is one of the most famous stretches of road in the country. We're now going to begin at the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada sign, and we're going to set our tripodometer to zero. To do now is to drive the length of the Las Vegas Strip, that is Las Vegas Boulevard, from the southernmost tip at the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign all the way to its northernmost tip uh, where the uh, stratosphere uh, is. On the map, it was represented by 10 and a half inches. Now let's see uh, what the actual distance is along the road represented by the uh, 10 and a half inches on the map. At this point, we are nearly four miles from the sign. We're exactly 3.9 miles from the uh, Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. We're heading directly toward the stratosphere. So we have now reached the stratosphere. Our trip odometer now reads 4.9 miles, 4.9 miles. So 10 and a half inches on the map is represented by four and a half miles of actual driving. And we're going to pause here for a moment for you to do the calculation and to figure out the scale of the map. So what you need to figure out is how many miles are represented by one inch on the map. Let's do some calculations. We see that 4.9 miles of driving along the Las Vegas Strip from the Welcome to Las Vegas sign all the way to the stratosphere is represented by 10.5 inches on the map. So let's take 4.9 miles, divide by 10.5 inches, and we get 0.466666, so forth, miles. And so what that means is that one inch of the map is represented by 0.466666, and so forth, uh, actual distance. We can round that to simply 0.47, so we can say that 0.47 miles uh, on the ground is represented by uh, one inch on the map. So that's one way to express the scale. Another way to express the scale is as one to some number. In order to do that, we're going to have to express both numbers in terms of the same unit. So that is one inch on the map needs to now be expressed in terms of inches on the ground. We know that one inch on the map is represented by 0.466666 and so forth miles on the ground. So we're going to have to take the 0.466666 and so forth and convert that to inches. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to first multiply by 5280 because they're 5,280 feet in a mile. So that gives me 2,464 feet. So one inch on the map is represented by 2,464 feet on the ground. And I'm going to have to multiply that by 12 inches to get 29,568. So what that means is that one inch on the map is represented by 
568 inches on the ground. So the scale is expressed as 1 to 29,568. Let's actually look at the map and see what they state as a scale. Now the map states 1 inch equals to 2,350 feet. So what they're saying is the scale of the map is 1 inch represents 2,350 feet. We remember from our earlier calculation, we computed that one inch of the map represents 2,464 feet. Let's figure out our error. 2,464 feet minus 2,350 feet is 114. So we have an error of 114 feet. We're going to divide that by the actual scale here. The actual scale says one inch equals 2,350 feet. So that's how we figure out our error. We're going to take the actual measurement subtract the experimental measurement, we're going to take the absolute value of that. So we're just taking the positive difference, we're going to divide by the actual value. So in this case, we're going to take uh, 114 feet, which is the um, difference, the positive difference between the experimental and the actual value, divide by the actual value, which is 2,350 feet, and we get 0 0.0485. So that's approximately 4.8, 4.9%. So that we see that a rel relatively primitive experiment that we've done with a piece of string with a tripodometer leads to uh, determining the scale of this map to within 5%. Not too bad. So again, we've demonstrated the power and the versatility of math. And so until next time, so long from Dr. Frank.